Hey, I got a question for you. Does anybody out there remember when Mars was a good place to explore? When we could find a lot of stuff? Well, that's getting harder and harder to do these days. And I blame it on this guy right here. Ashwin Vasavada. Ever since he's been director of the science project, you can't find anything on Mars anymore. I remember back in the good old days when you could find a, a, an iguana rock sitting on a dog rock. And I'm saying rock. For all you people out there that say everything on Mars is a rock, well, yeah, that's because the life on Mars looks like rock. That's how they stay hid. That's their camouflage. Anybody knows that. Except sometimes you can find a ghostly fairy lady standing on a rock waiting for her husband to get back from a Venus exploration program. Or maybe he went to Earth. I can't imagine why he'd want to come here. But I can remember back when every once in a while you could catch a poor Martian guy trying to walk down an embankment after he's had a few too many. Or we'll remember when you could find an old Martian dude pulling his blanket up around him while he's trying to take a siesta in the brisk morning air of Mars? That was the good old days. Or you could find Casper the friendly Martian taking it easy alongside the bank. Or this old guy here trying to take a nap. Or this newly born little Martian thingy here crying out for his parents. Maybe this is his dad calling for him. They kind of look alike, only one of them looks older. Well, those days are gone. Now we're stuck with rocks that just look like rocks. They're alive rocks, as if you're quick and you watch stuff like I do, you might find one sneaking onto the rover to catch a free ride. Or you might get a quick glimpse of a rat rock. All kinds of little animal rocks. Moving right along. One of the things I try to do is every once in a while show you something that nobody else has found. And that's what I'm going to do again right here. Now NASA probably knows this is there. That's why they made this picture black and white with all the little hatching in it so you can't, you know, you can't easily find anything. But now that I have my new glasses, this was no problem for me. So what I'm gonna do is show you this right here. And I call this the, I don't know what I call it, what, the skeleton of a dodo bird. But you can see that it's, it's the skeleton of some kind of flying creature that was on Mars. And not only that, but if you look, you can, just above him, you can see that this giant lizard is sticking his head out of the ground there. And that's probably why this bird's a skeleton. This might not even have been that long ago, but uh, he might be in the process of being eight right now, as we speak. Anyway, thought I'd bring that to you. And before I go, there is one more item I'd like to show you here. That probably nothing, you know, I mean, I, I figure it's a rock, but it's an anomaly because it's a way different kind of rock than any of these other ones around here. I mean, look at this thing. It's, it looks pretty huge, really. And its shape just kind of doesn't go with any of the other broken up rocks that are laying around. So, I don't know. That's all I got. I'll be looking for more stuff. See you later.